you've documented what's been happening with Antifa for um, several years now, and I think perhaps more so than anyone else who is in media, legacy media or new media. And at first, when these accusations about Antifa and what their what their overall goal was, when these accusations were first made several years ago, right when I guess that name began to become popularized, People sort of, they didn't really take it seriously, the accusations that, well, this actually is kind of, you know, a, for the lack of a better way to put it, a sort of street team for the radical left and a way to destabilize uh, certain areas and, and maybe largely overall the country. Well, now, here we are, fast forward 2021, and it really does seem that that has actually worked and they've been able to do that with little to zero condemnation from a lot of elected officials. Tell me about how you got in. What drew you to covering Antifa in the first place? Because you've been attacked. We've you've been hospitalized. You've really gone through a lot to bring this book to fruition. Portland is my hometown. And going back several years now, I've been witnessing political violence become routine and banal there. Uh, to the point of where the local journalists were just treating it as just another weekend. Um, but the issue that I was witnessing was that the people who, if they were arrested, they were being let out, they were facing, they were having their charges dropped. And the condemnation that you would expect from elected officials, officials uh, to those who are engaging in brawls on the streets and property destructions, it didn't actually come because Antifa, like the alum, claimed to be fighting um, against fascism and fighting for racial justice. So just based on that, this movement has allowed, been allowed to grow. And, you know, part of, I, I lamented part of the book writing process, seeing that the warnings that I had from several years ago were beginning to bear out. And actually, I had underestimated them. I didn't think that in 2020 they could, in some major American cities, actually claim territory.